Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be how to effectively use a nose strip to get the best results ever. Now I have been using nose strips for over over 10 years now. I've, I've used as much as twice a week when I was back in high school and I had so many blackheads on my nose that I could not keep up <laughs> um, with just once a week. Now I've just kind of tapered down on my use, but I do use them on a regular basis and I thought today I'd share with you my tips and tricks. Because their directions, while they are pretty straightforward, there's a lot of in-betweens that you kind of need to take in consideration in order to get you know a really good result from these strips. Now I want to quickly share with you some of the nose strips that I do have. So this first one here that I have is from Biota and you know it's a white nose strip that's supposed to take out all your blackheads. And what's neat about this one is that there's little tears in them which will you know fit snugly on your nose. And this thing comes in a pack of 10 and I believe, I don't quite remember, but I think it was about five, like three to five dollars. But I got this in Japan, but there are American brands, but I haven't tried those. I've only tried the Japanese ones. And then this other one here, which I haven't tried yet, and I think I might in a future video, let me know if you want me to do something like this. And it's the Pig Collagen Pore Heating Sheet, Blackhead Clear Sheet, and the Pore Tightening Sheet. But for today, I'm just gonna use my tried and true Biola strips, which I've used since high school, and it'll be fun. So I usually suggest doing these like after a shower or after a warm shower, so that you know you're you're pretty warm, your face is warm, and still a little damp. But in case you know you don't take a shower to do this, I suggest you know doing your regular skincare and removing all of your makeup beforehand. Which, I mean, it's a given, but I wanted to get that out there, is that your, your skin should be completely clear of everything. So to take off my makeup I have on right now, I'm using the Rice Brightening Facial Cleansing Tissue by Skin Food. Part of that cleansing process also includes an oil cleanse, and I'm gonna be using the Perfect Facial Deep Cleansing Oil by Natural Pacific, followed by this Perfect Whip Facial Foam by Senka. Since I don't have a sink in front of me, I'm gonna quickly do that in my bathroom. Now that my face is completely clear of any makeup or any residue that I gather throughout the day, I am going to actually prep my nose strip. I mean, it's really simple. Just make sure you open the package and take out the nose strip itself and just kind of set it down where it's easily accessible really fast. Then next you'll want to take a tissue paper or a toilet paper, whatever, and then run it under warm water, and I've already done that, and then kind of squeeze out any excess water because you don't want it to be too watery when you dab it on your nose. So I did that already when I was upstairs in my bathroom. You just want to gently pat it or dab it on your nose. The warm water will kind of help the nose strip securely attached to your nose. And now I have my nose strip here and I'm just going to take one side and just peel it off. The dip here is the top and I'm just going to place it on the nose. I start from the top and I use my two index fingers and I just press it down like that. And with that, you know, you just got to wait 10, about 10 minutes. Now the directions on this Biola box says that in the summer um, you should wait between 10 to 15 minutes and in the other seasons, so spring, fall, and winter, to wait 5 to 10 minutes. But I usually don't really go by those guidelines. You want to take off your nose strip before it com becomes completely dry, otherwise it's not going to pick up anything. So right now it is, you know, 6.40, so I'm going to wait 5 to 7 minutes and then, you know, decide from there what I should do. All right, so it's been about five to six minutes and it's getting pretty dry, so I'm gonna take it off right now. I'm gonna take it off by starting with one side and you really wanna be gentle, especially your under eye part because that area is really sensitive. And I just kinda of slowly take it off. Here's a tip, so the side that you start with will usually get the better results than the other side that is last. So if you were to do this, make sure you alternate between each side so you kind of get an even 
amount of blackhead removal. So I think I got pretty good results, especially the top part of my nose, which I do have the most blackheads, and I got a pretty big one that came from like down here. So I would say this is a success. So now that the nose stripping part is done, your skincare routine is not complete yet, I usually follow up with a toner. So I, right now I'm using the Rose Water Toner by Mamon. And I'm just gonna pat that all over my face, and especially my nose, because it is, you know, pretty dry right now, and you know, all the moisture has been used up by that strip. So I want to make sure I'm gonna give proper care to my nose. And after that, I usually just finish up with the moisturizer that I use every night. And right now, I'm using the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm, or you can follow up with a mask. I think I might do this broccoli mask by Tony Moly. It's good for vitality, pretty much giving your tired skin some energy. So I hope you guys found this video pretty helpful. I mean, there's a lot of tips that I gave that aren't you know, written down in any directions. And this is a result of many, many years of doing <laughs> blackhead removals by a nose strip. Please let me know in the comments section if you have any other tips or tricks that I haven't discovered yet. I would like to know. And lastly, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. The link to subscribe will be somewhere up, no, up here. <laughs> and then here are some videos that I think you might enjoy. I do upload every Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.